Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. We're standing in front of another trailer that we just completed um, doing a minor modification or enhancement to. So not only do we do ground up restorations here, but we also um, enhance things like trailers and car haulers and that sort of thing. So we had one of our clients who in a, uh, saw a previous video where we installed a winch um, on a trailer that was enclosed and we had um, the checker plate box and a wireless uh, setup. So there's lots of times where clients want to load and unload their classic vehicle and sometimes they're by themselves and it's quite stressful uh, especially this style being a dovetail open trailer. So if you have your your narrow ramp set up and you have your classic car um, and you're on your own and you're, you drive the um, up the it's very difficult to see if you're lined up and square to the trailer. So to take some of that stress away, um, our opinion, this is really the, re the way to go. Um, so with his classic vehicle, what we've done is we've purchased this enclosure. It's a polished checker plate. So this originally had just an open tongue um, and no reinforcement underneath, obviously. So we purchased this uh, from our Napa supplier. It's a really nice um, high polished checker plate. Before we installed this box, uh, we added three reinforcement bars and we welded it uh, structurally in place. We added some rust inhibitor um, paint to protect that steel. We drilled holes and as you come closer into the box, you'll see we have a, um, it's a Warrior um, brand winch and um, it's quite strong. I think you can pick it up in the camera. It's um, a 9,500 pound is what it's rated for. So um, it's a really slick setup in our opinion. What we've done is we have the reinforcement plates underneath as I mentioned. We have this with grade 8 hardware. We have the winch securely fastened through so it's extremely strong. And then if you come around to this side of the trailer uh, where it had this beam we opened up a groove here um, and this plate is, it comes supplied with the winch. So what we've done is we've, we've slotted this out. So we have the hook and it has uh, room for the pathway. And um, it, it's a really neat idea, I think, in my opinion, to have it installed at the tongue as opposed to most people would put the winch um, up onto the platform. And it, unfortunately, it changes the angle of the loading and the unloading of the vehicle. Um, but also the winch is always out in the weather. So having it enclosed in this trailer, um, we're able to have um, a little bit of a storage spot in here. You can see if you come closer, we have a, uh, a Napa uh, battery set up here. Um, and then this winch is set up two different ways. So uh, this is our favorite setup, um, having this device, which is an option, and it's a full remote control. So all you simply do, you'll see there's a red and a green button. Red is to, to shut it off. The green is to turn it on. So when the red light is on, I just powered it up. And if you come to this side, you'll see this hook. So if I'm by myself and I want to load a vehicle, all I simply do is push the out button and here comes my winch. Oh, <laughs> but first you have to make sure that your battery is connected. Because we're going to have this uh, this trailer set up at our clients um, in his garage uh, and it's going to be limited use. What we did is we just disconnected the battery. So I should have probably checked that before we set the video up. So I apologize. It'll only take a second here. We'll, we'll hook up the, uh, the negative terminal to the battery. And then this winch works two different ways. So um, it has a hard cable, um, which means we have the handle and the switch with a long cable and it plugs into the side um, or you have what I would prefer and it's the remote that I tried to use before. So um, now what we do is simply just hit the out button and by doing it this way it's a one-man show. So I can simply just use the remote, I can go quite a distance, I can set my ramps up, I can pull this cord myself as I have the remote in my hand, um, hook it up to the car, and then I can walk along with the classic car and hit the in button and it will pull up and I can steer the car um, if I need to realign it as it's coming up onto the trailer. So I think this is a pretty slick way of doing it. As a backup, this is a nine volt battery that operates this remote 
um, if for any reason this battery goes dead, then you have the backup, which is um, the cable with the handle. So I think this is quite a nice setup. So it works quite nicely. So now that I have that where I want it. I hit the red button, the power is off. So um, this is a lockable box. It's really handy. So I'm John from Last Chance Auto Restore, and I thank you for watching.